Hello, Sigma. A central force is nothing but a force which uh, is a radial in nature. That is, it depends only upon its distance from the origin. To better understand what central forces are, consider a particle in our Cartesian coordinate system. Let's say the position vector of that particle is uh, r, and if that particle, let's say, was uh, tracing some kind of a curve, right? And this is the curve which the particle was tracing. Then it's a uh, Displacement vector dl would be equal to, as you know from our video on a polar coordinate system, it will be dr r cap plus r d theta theta cap. And the central forces, as it states, is a radial force. That is, it depends only upon the radial vector or the radial direction, its distance from the origin. And hence, it looks something like this. This would be a central force. And it would be a function of uh, r and will always point in the r cap direction. And these kind of forces are really special for two reasons. First is that they are everywhere in nature because electrostatic and gravitational force, which are two fundamental forces, and uh, uh, also very abundant forces. Uh, Okay, everywhere in nature. And uh, hence, studying such forces, uh, such as central forces, become very, very important. But our goal in this video is to find the, the work done by any such central force. And uh, we know from our previous video what the formula for, uh, for a work is. So the work done by a particle in moving from uh, A to uh, B is equal to, that is, uh, we are considering a particle that moves from RA, that is, it had an initial position vector of RA, and a final position vector of RB. And we have to find the work done by uh, the particle in moving from RA to RB under such a central force. So the formula for work is given by integral A to B, f dot dr and now what we are going to do is just substitute the values so, so we know that f for a central force looks like this and dr looks like this and now you can easily see that the dot product of r cap with theta cap is what yes it is zero because they both are perpendicular to each other and cos 90 is z. And hence what we will left with is integral from a to b, f of r, dr. Now, the reason why I had decided to make this video is because central force is very special. Now, I told you one reason why central force is special, that is, it is abundant in nature. But this is the second reason, which is, if you haven't noticed so far, the work done by central force is independent of theta. It depends only upon r. And why does that matter at all? Let us see. Consider a particle, right, uh, as we had assumed, that is moving from r a, its initial position vector was r a, to a point r b. Then you know from my previous video it could take a straight path, which would be its uh, displacement, or uh, it could take any such curved path, any such complicated path, whatever it wants, right? Whatever path it wants to take, it can take that. It could take this path or this path. But one thing that I want you to notice is that if we, this is a coordinate system, then if the particle has to take a curved path, then it's, uh, it's theta will have to change, right? It will have to change some theta. It will get displaced by some angle 
10 polar coordinate system right but if it travels uh, in a straight uh, line in, along the radial direction right that is if we consider its radial displacement then along the radial direction there is no change in theta obviously and hence if we notice a very very important thing that is uh, the work done by a central force depends only upon the initial and final positions of that uh, particle that is because the work done by a central force is independent of theta that means it will only depend this work done by central force will only depend upon the radial displacement if this is the r cap direction it will only depend upon the radial displacement of the particle which instead depends only upon the initial and final position of that particle and if the work done by a central force is uh, independent of uh, the part taken by a particle, then what do we call such kind of forces? Yes, you know from my previous video that such forces are known as conservative forces. And hence, we have proved a very important point which is that uh, central forces are conservative forces and hence it is very obvious from the line integral you can easily know that the work done by a conservative force around a closed path has to be zero. Because if the particle uh, has started from over here and it returns to the same place, the displacement is zero. And uh, the work done by a conservative uh, force depends upon exactly that the initial and final position. And if uh, there is no change in the initial and final position, then the work done uh, is obviously zero. And that was uh, all about center forces. Uh, to motivate me to create more such fun physics videos, do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video. Thank you for watching.